Okay, I had actually recorded this video and uh, was in the process of editing it uh, about a week ago and I've been having a conversation backwards and forth over the last day with one of my followers, Andreas, and I've taken a lot of his points on board and I've decided to completely re-record this video and I'm going to upload it today. So um, this is being recorded on Thursday. Uh, so right, we we basically what we were saying when I was doing the review of the radio scan, I had said that I, in my opinion, I had felt that the the GMC five hundred plus was its main competitor. Now obviously, the radio scan does alpha, and the GMC five hundred plus doesn't do alpha. Uh, but I'm feeling that because the GMC six hundred and six hundred plus isn't available on Amazon, uh, I have a feeling that. When most people go to buy a Geiger counter, they'll go to Amazon. And the vast majority of people, when they're looking at a Geiger counter, will not be worrying about alpha radiation. So I have a feeling that this will be the unit they would pick. Now, if the 600 and 600 plus appeared on Amazon, which I think it is starting to do now, a lot of people will start moving to that just because it's the sort of the, the top of the range model. Um, but from looking at the sales charts on Amazon, this is shifting a lot of units and it's 120 pounds. So what you're getting for 120 pounds is excellent. Yes, there are limitations with the software. Yes, I have had problems with it, but if I was to buy it again or have the opportunity to buy it again, I probably would uh, because I like the logging software, that the way it updates to a map. Um, I think that's a really, really good idea and it is reasonably accurate. I still think that the RadioScan is a better unit software-wise. The software in the RadioScan is 10 times better than on the GMC 500 Plus. Um, I did have the 320. In fact, I have made a list here. I did have the GMC 320 Plus V5. And that was about, that, I think I paid 79 pounds for that. And really that did, I mean, I, I could probably still have that rather than this. But again, because of the logging software, this beats it. But for a lot of people, they don't even need the logging software. So it's a tough one. Really, it comes down to personal preference. I think I wanted something that on video that I could do alpha radiation. And I think that's where the radio scan wins in that regard. Obviously, I have the, the thermometer and that's a scientific quality meter and I'd be lost without this. Uh, I really, really, I've always wanted one and I'm really glad I have one and I'd be lost without this. Um, if I could get rid of a meter here, I've got two meters here that detect alpha and I've got two meters here that don't detect alpha. If I was to get rid of a meter out of all of these, I would probably get rid of the rad alert simply because it only goes up to... Uh, 50 millironcan. That will be the only reason I would get rid of it. Other than that, this is a perfectly acceptable meter that anybody could use. Uh, I paid, I think it was 60 pounds posted for this from America. So really, I didn't lose money out on it. You know, they, these go, I've seen these go for three or 400 quid before. So, the, and especially the brand new ones. But for somebody starting out and that just wants a cheap and cheerful meter, I think the GMC range is exactly what people need. If you want something cheap and cheerful that does, you know, the one you need to show readings and you want to do, you know, some checking, you want something in your house just to feel safe in the knowledge that you know what the background radiation level is, then yeah, the GMC range. I think stepping up slightly would be the therapy. You want something that is recording dose rates that is a very, very simple, straightforward menu. Uh, only a few options would be the Therapy. If you want to step up again, you would go to the Therapy Plus. The Rad Alert 50 is more for people to test sources, is has a, the way I've always looked at the Rad Alert. Um, slightly bigger, but I really don't really care about the size and weight of things, or if you can put it in your pocket. The thing I would... Generally, if I were going out, in fact, I went to a museum recently and I brought the therapy with me 
and uh, I wanted to look at their uh, their mineral display and I found that quite a few of their minerals were, were, were pretty hot. So, you know, that was quite handy. I think the Radioscan is now going to be part of my everyday carry kit that I keep with me all the time. Um, a lot of people buy the PDRM82 thinking that it's a Geiger counter. Uh, when it's a survey meter, this is for very high levels of radiation after a nuclear war or uh, an incident at a nuclear power plant. So there's there's a lot out there on the market. So I think what I can look at here is in regards to competitors of the Rad Alert and the Radioscan that do Alpha, you're looking at the Mazur uh, 8000 range. Um, but they're going for about £450 posted. That's, that's of import duty and everything from, from America. You're looking at the GMC 600 and 600 plus, and they're about £300. So in terms of the value for money, I think the Radioscan wins in that. Because yes, it is still slightly expensive for what you're getting, but it's still cheaper than its direct competitors. And that's direct competitors. Uh... If you want something, if you don't care about Alpha and you just want something that does Beta and Gamma, I would get the Therapy every single day of the week or the Therapy Plus. The only difference really with the Therapy Plus is it has a higher range and it does Beta Flux. But the Therapy, I've had this Therapy up to 10 millisievert and it has had no problems at all, even though it's only rated to 1 millisievert. So it's, it's really down to personal preference on how much money you have. Uh, I... As I said before, if I was going to go out and buy a meter today and I only had, say, £300 budget, I would get the therapy um, simply for the case of it's tried and tested. It's been around for years and it just works. Uh, okay, go for the therapy plus if you want slightly higher range and if you want beta flux. But if you want alpha, uh, the easiest meter at the moment to get would be the radio scan. Uh, if you don't mind waiting and import, um, you know, 600 plus. But after my, the problems I've encountered with the GMC 500, I would be very, very, very cautious over getting a 600 or a 600 plus. Uh, the Mazur, I've seen reviews of it. It looks like a really, really good unit. But do I want to drop 450 pounds on a device that, you know, I can get exactly the same readings with a device that's, you know, costs practically half the price. So yeah, it's down to personal preference, really. And uh, I'm happy with what I have. Yes, I'm going to buy more because I like collecting Geiger counters and survey meters and rate meters and dose rate meters. But I, uh, I really, really like the Radio Scan at the moment. I think these are these are definitely my two favorite meters out of everything I own. I love these. Um, I use them all the time. Uh, the Thermo Scientific meter is awesome too, but it's not practical for most people uh, for what you wanted to do you know this is a pretty a bit of a rambling video but I just wanted to get a few things off my chest and hopefully it answers a couple of questions um, to the comments uh, but again carry on the conversation it's really interesting and you know I'll continue to make videos on it um, if required but listen as always thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye